Chapter 20. Ex extra, 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 large underpants. Fluffy and cheese ball landed safely in the adopted alley. We, we got, we got to a, we got to a, in large Captain Underpants, so we can find Professor Fluffy Pants, said Fluffy. The very entire place, the very entire place in our hands. But how we can enlarge him if we can't see him? said Cheese Ball. Good question, said Fluffy. Wait, said Cheese Ball. I got an idea. He he called out as loud as he could. Get the other bass we can see you. Boy, if you, boy, if you can hear him. Boy, if you can't. Oh, let me just. There we go. But if you can hear us, fly over on my, on my finger. We have a machine that it can make us big again. The boys waited for a few seconds. Look, said Fluffy. Look, look, Fluffy, said Cheese Ball. There he is. See? He's, he's that little tiny speck, speck on my finger. Now I'm just in the machine. I don't will speck, but do not aim on my finger. Okay, don't worry," said Fluffy. "I'm great. I'm a great. I'm a great shot with this thing. I won't zap your gosh." Good news was that Captain Underpants has grown even one larger, and was now visible. The bad news was, we, well, let's just say that Cheese Ball was going, was going, to have an awful hard time picking his nose with the right hand, and from now on. Fluffy gave Captain Underpants a few more shots of the from the Goosey Grow 4000. The waistband warrior grow grew and grew and grew until he is a ten stories high. Finally, the Colorado Captain headed toward the the preposterous professor a showdown was about to begin. The little boy from chapter 13 happened to be walking with his mother again. He looked up and saw a giant man in his underwear getting ready for a fight between a, hu between a huge robot in the middle of the city. Mommy! Said the little boy. What? Asked his mother. Um, never mind, said the boy.